G'day guys, with the forthcoming announcement of the Canon RF 100-400mm f5.6 to f8 IS USM, you may be thinking to yourself, why would I buy that when I could just put a 2x extender on my Canon EF 70-200mm? Okay guys, well the announcement is pending that the Canon RF 100-400mm f5.6-8 to IS USM is set to be announced. It's going to be released at US $649. It's a pretty good price. It's an entry level zoom for the Canon R series of cameras. But the situation may arise where you already own the Canon EF 70-200 f2.8. And you might be thinking to yourself, why would I buy the new lens when I could simply put a 2 times teleconverter onto the 70 to 200 and essentially get a 400 f 5.6 okay well there's actually a few reasons why you may be better off buying the new lens rather than putting the two times teleconverter on your 70 to 200 and those reasons are size weight and resolution okay so the ef 70 to 200 millimeter lens is 207 millimeters long whereas the new 100 to 400 millimeter lens is expected to be 164.7 millimeters long in its packed down state. Now that is already a lot shorter than the 70 to 200 millimeter lens. And not only that, but when fully extended, it's still gonna be a lot shorter than the EF lens with the teleconverter and the adapter in place. Next we come to the weight and the new 100 to 400 millimeter lens is gonna be 635 grams. That is not bad, it's pretty light. Whereas if you look to the 70 to 200 millimeter lens, this is already 1.5 kgs. It's more than twice the weight of the new 100 to 400 millimeter lens, and that is quite a significant difference. Okay, if we just talk briefly about the aperture, we can actually get the same aperture by using a two times converter on the EF70 to 200. It does slow it down from 2.8 to 5.6. That is the widest possible aperture on the most closed zoom on the new 100 to 400 millimeter lens. When that lens zooms out, it goes to f8. So you can actually get a faster aperture using the 2x converter. But what you will be giving up if you do choose to go down that line is resolution. As you may know that using a 2 times converter, it actually degrades resolution. It actually degrades how much of the sensor is being used as well. So the images will not come out using the full capable resolution of your R series of cameras. So in actual fact, even though you can get a faster aperture by using a 2x converter on your EF 70 to 200 millimeter, you actually give away resolution in doing so. And not only that, let's think about the price. The 2x teleconverter is going to cost you around about 450 US dollars sometimes more sometimes less whereas the new 100 to 400 millimeter lens is going to be released at 649 so for only a couple hundred dollars more you get yourself a portable accessible affordable long range zoom for your full frame r series of cameras not only that it's got image stabilizer in it so it's actually a really really good deal you're not carrying around more than twice the weight you're not carrying around more than twice the length and not only that, you're not giving up almost half of the resolution. So it could be a good option to buy the new 100 to 400 millimeter lens, even though it is slower at the longest possible zoom of f8 than what you'd be able to get using the 2x converter on the 70 to 200, being f5.6. Hey, that's it, guys. Just consider whether or not to buy the 100 to 400 millimeter f5.6 to f8 IS USM, or to just simply put a two times teleconverter onto your EF 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Look, if you've already got the two times converter, then you're probably sorted. There's no need to go and splash the extra cash for the smaller, lighter, full frame, 100 to 400 millimeter lens. But if you don't have the 2X converter and you're thinking about extending the range of your EF lens, well, remember, you are gonna be carrying out a very long, heavy package, and you may just be better off buying the new lens and saving yourself that extra hassle. Hey, these are just my thoughts. If you're keen to see any other videos I've made, you can do so right here. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.